is coming as we bring on this amazing boss lady to shut it down, to bring the show, to bring the light, to bring some inspiration to you. I want y'all to keep the flames coming, keep the hearts coming as we welcome none other than the boss lady herself, Miss Caitlin Barber. <laughs> Hey, 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 man. I appreciate that, everyone. I truly do appreciate that, man. Thank you guys so much. And man, Curlins, I just want to give it back to you and that morning call. That morning call was powerful. I mean, the things that you were saying before you got started with the video really resonated with me. I was just like, wow. Um, you know, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity today to be here, to be able to speak in front of Mogul Nation. Man, I'm so blessed and honored to be a part of this community. Um, you know, the community that we're in of, you know, helping people, of wanting to see everybody when the community of just empowerment, you know, I'm all about empowerment, you know, no matter where you come from, what your background is, what you look like, I'm just all about empowerment because we all have an end goal and that end goal um, is to break those financial barriers and build the generational wealth that we desire. So man, I just want to give it back to all of you guys that came to the call this morning as well. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I just want to share my story, you guys. I want to kind of tell you guys a little bit about me and I want to talk to y'all for a minute as well. I definitely want to talk to y'all, but before that, I definitely want to just, you know, introduce myself and let you guys know um, who I am. So again, my name is Caitlin Barber. I started in this industry, man, I was like 22 years old. I, I just turned 22, actually. Uh, I think my birthday was in February and then March I started in the industry and man, it was, it was life changing. And the reason why I say that, because at one point in time of my life, I was in a very, 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 very stuck place. And I don't know if you guys know what it feels like to be stuck, right? But the most saddest, most frustrating, <laughs> most aggravating and depressing and angry place to be in in life is a place called stuck. Why? Because <laughs> when you're stuck, you do absolutely nothing. A confused mind does absolutely nothing. And guys, that was me for so long. And I don't know if you guys can feel me on this call this morning, but if you've ever... I mean, any time in your life been in a place called stuck, right? Drop some tools in the chat because I want you guys to understand that I can relate to you. I have been there before. I know what it feels like. I know how angry it makes you, how frustrated it can make you, how upsetting it can have you. It's so upsetting to be stuck. Why? Just because you're com you're complacent. You sit still. You do absolutely nothing. And you guys. That was me. That's my story. You know, I was in a situation where I'm young. As I told you guys, I was 22. I do have two children. I was a baby raising babies, you guys. And um, it's definitely been a lesson. It's definitely built me to be who I am today. But I do have a five-year-old and I have a two-year-old. Um, and, you know, at the time I was, bit, you know, with their father, I was just in a very, you know, toxic relationship. I'm just going to be transparent with you guys and tell you guys the truth. Um, my son's father, he was the provider. I mean, he was, he was well, you know, he was, old, you know, older, you know, he had the stability that I didn't have being that I'm young, fresh out of high school, college girl, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, I just, I wasn't able to shift. I wasn't able to leave that environment and that environment was very, very toxic. Um, so I got in a place where I was just standing still. I didn't have any finances to leave and I did not have any credit, right? And the number one thing right now that we need in the society is, you know, we need the mindset, we need our, we need our mind, but we also need finances and we need credit to be able to do things like get approved for an apartment or, you know, get approved for a car or, you know, get some credit cards where you have access to extra cash in case of emergency. But guess what, you guys, I had none of that. All I did was wake up every morning, be a mother, like 20, 22, between the ages of 17 and 
now 23, but man, like that's, that was my life. Like the last six years, you know, that's just what happens when you become a parent. But man, I didn't like the fact that I felt like I wasn't elevating, that I wasn't shifting, you know, that my soil that I was growing in wasn't the, the, it wasn't a good soil. It was a very bad, bad soil to be growing in. Right. And as we all know, we are a product of our environment. And I started to become a product of that environment. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. You know, I wanted to be very transparent transparent with you guys because you know a lot of people look outside in and think it's all you know sprinkles and cupcakes but man you know we all come from a background we all have you know a sad story right and I wanted to talk to you guys this morning I wanted to share something with y'all and I hope you guys can still see me okay um, but one thing that I had to do was you know have the ability to accept what I didn't understand you know, and it was the most hardest place for me, you know, and I had to realize that we live our lives and we feel as if we are promised something, right? And we really don't have any control, but what we can control is what we possess, our emotions, our attitudes, our thought processes, and our perspective. And another thing that's important that we can control is how we speak to people and how we respond to life, how we speak to life, and how we respond to life. Those are two things that we have control over and also what we possess and our emotions as well and the attitude, right? As well as the thought process. But life in general, we have no control over that. And that was me. I, I kind of had no control over my life at that point in time, but I did understand and I did know that I couldn't control what I possessed moving forward. My emotions moving forward, you guys, emotional, having control of your emotions is important because if you have no emotional control, you're just going to really fall downhill because you don't know how to manage your emotions, right? And then, of course, I knew I could control my attitude right? But I had to do certain things to give me that good attitude that I needed, like personal development and reading books and listening to audios like John Maxwell. And, um, you know, I love Coach Stormy. I mean, man, she's a great mentor. Um, I love listening to her because I really wanted to understand and to know how I could personally develop myself so I can go be an impact to other people. I'm new in the industry. I want to be an impact. I want to empower, but how can I do that before I become unstuck right so I had to start doing things um, that I did have control of to put myself in position right so there are so many parts of adversity that you know of my specifically my adversity that changed my perspective right and I had to realize that life don't owe me a thing right? And we've all been through something. Me, you, Curlins, um, Tiffany Renee, Tano, Joe Johnson, all of you on this call, all of you guys have been through something before, right? Right? We will encounter something. The beautiful thing about this, though, the beautiful thing about adversity and the opposition is when you live with it, right? It teaches you something if you're open to it right? You cannot be a closed mind in moments of adversity. You cannot be a closed mind in general. You have to be open to accept, be open to be aware of your current circumstances and what's going on around you and learn, right? And to ask yourself, man, like, how am I going to respond to this? Am I going to respond to this negatively? Am I going to respond to this in a way of, man, like, whatever, my life already sucks. Like, I'm just going to let it suck for the rest of my life. Or are you going to wake up and realize that you have the power? You have the power to change your, certain, your situation. And understand, you guys, that your current situation is not your final destination, right? And where you are now is not your final destination. Where you are now is not where you are going. But you need to see where you're going, right? So you can place yourself there. The easiest thing in the world to do, you guys, is to be negative. Like, literally, it's so easy to be negative. The easiest thing in the world to do is complain. The easiest thing in the world to do is just quit. But do you understand that when you quit, you're not giving up on yourself. You're giving up on your why. You're giving up on your children. You're giving up on your mom that still works a job. You're giving up on your father who still works a job, right? You're giving up on those siblings that look up to you to be that financial, um, that, that person that brings that generational poverty. You're not just giving up on you. Don't be so selfish. Realize that when you quit, you're giving up on everyone, everyone around you, right? 
that's easy, right? And I want you guys to understand it's moments like that, that you remember that shape you and mold you as a person, right? Um, as you go throughout life, I want you guys to understand that, you know, we all have moments, rather it's humility, uh, you know, rather it's moments that, you know, keep us grounded as I spoke on. But all of this, you know, you will experience hurt, but it's always a lesson, right? to extract it we always have to have the lesson to extract it out you know attitude does drive performance that's the easy um and that's the key to life attitude you have to change your attitude you have to smile when it's a bad day you have to smile when that person may piss you off you have to smile even though you know like man my bank account looks low still smile still have attitude have an attitude of gratitude that you're still here to breathe you're still here to have another opportunity like you're still here right it's attitude attitude drives performance that's the key to life and i think sometimes when things don't go our way um you know the quote says it you don't judge you judge the true character and caliber of a person not by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience, but you judge the true character and caliber of a person by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. Everyone is going to smile when the sun's shining, but can you stand in the rain? Everyone's going to smile when the sun's shining, but can you stand in the rain? Don't underestimate attitude. I want you guys to understand that we can control our attitude. We literally control our attitude. We can control our life. We can control where we are going to go. Our current situation is not our final destination. And I just want to tell you guys, that's what keeps me going. That's what keeps allowing me to want to make an impact on um, wealth builders, you know, continue to make an impact with the wealth builders. Because, you know, one thing that I realize is no matter what, I still have to feed my family. No matter what, I still have to be the one to, you know, break uh, these generational curses and, you know, these, you know, not having any investments or nobody in my family, you know, is a homeowner or, you know, nobody in my family has like good credit. And, you know, everyone in my family is just nine to five and paycheck to paycheck. Like I have to be the one to change. And I felt like maybe, you know, if I could show them that, that would open up their eyes. And if I could also show other people that it's possible, if I could also show other people that if I can do it, you can do it too. You know, that's what's going to make me feel good inside. And I feel like that's what God sent me here to do and just be an impact on others. So man, I'm super excited for this journey with the Wealth Builders. And one thing I want to mention also before I give it back to Curlins is what we have here in this opportunity, we have credit, e-commerce, dropshipping, Forex, trading. Um, I want you guys to understand that um, we have something that we may, we didn't get from our last opportunity. If you guys came with us from our last opportunity. Um, one thing that we're learning here is how to really build real wealth, how to have real investments, how to really actually have business credit, how to have a great credit structured portfolio. I mean, we have power here. And I want you guys to understand the power by actually tapping into the information and seeing it for yourself, because man, it's life changing. And one thing that we're learning here, everything that we're learning here, no one can ever take away from us. So God forbid we got shut down. I want you guys to understand that we've learned education on how to make money with drop shipping. We've learned education on how to go fix credit. We've learned information on how to get into investment properties, how to get into short-term rentals and Airbnb. We learned information on how to get into real estate and wholesaling, right? We've learned all this information and we can take it with us for a, to a lifetime. And not only that, we can pass it down to our children and our grandchildren and our kids, 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 right? So that's the power behind this. I can keep going, but I'm going to stop it right here. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to come on here and share my testimony. Thank you guys for listening to me today. Thank you so much, Carolyn's Classius and Joe Johnson, Tiffany, Renee, Antano, everybody that makes this happen. I'm super excited for Mogul Nation and what we have in store. Hope you guys have an amazing Monday. Y'all take care and y'all stay blessed. Thank you, Carolyn. Oh,